For the first time in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, the Mega Tins were done right. And that's not much saying that we only had this once beforehand. The issue with last year's Mega Tins was all the themes in the Mega Tins themselves immediately got power creeped out. This year, it's the complete opposite. Most of the stuff available to you in the Mega Tins is still going to be good. And that's absolutely amazing. So for those of you that are writing this, oh, my stuff is going to get cheaper after the Megatons are out for a little bit, maybe. But you're also riding a terrible chance that if you want to play Taller Knights, Shadals, uh, Cleefor to a lesser extent, you know, you need to get picking this shit up now. Um, obviously, there's going to be a power creep coming in the next set. Um, if you guys don't know about, you know, Eminem or the Magician Pendulums, uh, December is going to be a massive power creep fallout in the TCG. Uh, Noden was the beginning, uh, but there's a lot more to come. Uh, I just wanted to make this, though, like, I, I've just been seeing some people like, oh, I'll wait, you know, stuff's going to drop. What are you going to do when stuff just goes back up? And then you're just going to whine a bitch anyway. Uh, but the moral of the story is, like, you have absolutely no reason now to not want to pick up whichever one of those decks you wanted to play. Now is your golden opportunity, and I'm not going to lie, it, it seems really golden. Um, opening up six cases of the Mega Tins, we pretty much had everything that we wanted for, you know, Teller, Shadals, Klee. Uh, it was actually really nice, uh, considering that dolls are still going to be relevant for a little while longer, uh, especially with the clown stuff here in the TCG, which is extremely nice. And I'm not going to lie, I, I like having my, you know, extra stuff available to me, uh, especially having it be cheap now. Um, it, it's honestly kind of shocking that dolls are kind of a cheap deck. Me yeah, and Necros are still expensive, but that's the golden horse that you take when, you know, they short print everything in the initial first release. Uh, so there's nothing that you can really do about that. So if you want to play Necros, I'm sorry. Uh, Necros have gotten here. Got the reprint over Monolith, though. So that should make you happy uh, for what it's worth. So my two cents at the end of the day, it's four days post Mega 10 release. Um, I mean... <sighs> Hell, even Burning Abyss is cheap now. Dante's bought a $20 card. And if you're still playing me, I don't want to pick them up because they're expensive, then uh, don't play competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! at the moment. That's the moral of my story. Uh, I don't mean to be rude or anything, but, you know, if you want to play BA and you know a play set of Dante's is going to cost you $60, then play something else. Uh, it, it's pretty short, sweet, and to the point. And honestly, this is probably going to be your only time in a while uh, to pick up a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Uh, especially for a very good tier 1.5, uh, 2 tier, or high tier 2. Um, but yeah, I'll leave that at, that thought with you guys. Uh, just, I, I still see constant bitching and moaning from people. Like, you expect Yu-Gi-Oh to be fucking free at times. And I don't understand where the fuck that mindset comes from. You know, I mean, you guys expect to go spend ten fucking dollars and be able to play Yu-Gi-Oh! No, this isn't Vanguard where you can go buy a Legend deck for twenty dollars and, you know, get four of everything you need to win. That's not how life works, especially in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. So, leave a comment down below. Tell me which one of the budget-esque themes you guys were trying to get. Whether it be Cleave Fort, Shadal, Burning Abyss, Teller Knights, and I'm out, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard, M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.